Hey guys, Nelly here from Discus Divana. Today I just want to talk about the dorsal fin of these amazing discus fish. Um, they have very sensitive uh, sensories and feeling in the dorsal fin. It's often used for communication. You might see the fins twitching. Um, it's really beautiful. Uh, you know, it's it's manipulative in breeding. You can breed a high fin. You can just breed normal height. Uh, you know, and it's really a beautiful feature in the fish. So the front rays are very solid and individual front rays. Um, they can they have sensories in that, and often when those fins get damaged, they don't grow back normally. They cannot repair 100%. Um, and then the soft, connected, soft rays at the back of the fin is um, where it can grow back. Sometimes you see when fish nip each other, um, it might tear, it can grow back again. Um, if it, I've seen some people actually cut off the soft part of the fins, um, they can actually feel in those fins. They have very sensitive feeling. So um, I, if you do want to correct a deformation, um, please cut that fin in local anesthesia, under local anesthesia. So they touch the surface, but it does not extend above it, ever really so that pulls down whenever they touch the surface there's some body language for you as well I often see the twitching as well after water changes come up boy it stuck out a little bit but the fins are retracted until they go down And now the dorsal fin is upright again. Touch the water again. Touch it. And there they retract it again. There they retract it again. So it never stands upright above the water. An interesting feature as well with discus fish is that as soon as they reach the water surface, uh, you might see that they automatically retract the dorsal fin as they touch the water. So it's upright like this. And then when they touch the water, it flattens out like this. And then when they release, then when they lower, then the fin relaxes, it goes open again. Um, in this case, well, they feel the water surface and they don't want to stick out. It's instinctive for them not to stick their rays out at the top because in nature, uh, predators from above can obviously see them uh, very obvious, can see them very easily. So they don't want to get caught. Um, but other than that, um, it was a very interesting feature for me to see that they can do this. I, I really, really like that. You know, as soon as they touch, I'll try and add some footage if I can find it uh, of where they do that. It's, um, it's almost an automatic response. Um, if you do feed them, then you'll also see that these fans um, might, you know, out of pure excitement and grabbing the food at the surface, um, they'll actually stick out when they grab food. Um, that's that's fine, that's normal, they're feeding. Um, but usually when they are just in a normal, calm, relaxed state like this, they'll actually retract the fin. So that's amazing, that's amazing.